the Styles panel, which lives over here or under the Window menu, is a quick way to create some very awesome effects inside of shapes that you can draw with any of the drawing tools inside of Photoshop that give you a selection. I'm going to create a brand new document here. I'm going to choose from the preset default Photoshop size and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to create a brand new layer and then I'm going to draw with the polygonal lasso tool a lightning bolt. It's amazing how much I have to concentrate to get that right. Now I'm going to fill this in with this yellow color here. And now I'm going to go to my styles panel. And as you can see, I have these little shapes in here. And when I click on one, my shape, as long as it's still selected, is filled in with that style. So I have this really 3D glass button applied to my lightning bolt because I chose it from the styles. You can find different categories by going to the pop-up menu and you can choose things like abstract styles and you have two choices here. You can click OK to replace these styles with the ones you want to see or you can append it to the list and see both. Don't worry though, even if you click OK, you can always go back to the regular defaults and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So I'm going to click on one of these guys here and look how cool that is. You're able to create some very interesting effects this way. Let's go ahead and try something like image effects. And we can go back and try something like web styles. So if you want to create something like water or ice, you can apply a style to it and then press command and control D to deselect it. And then you have a really cool logo or any kind of shape that you can draw yourself. Now let's talk about how to create your own style, but before we do that, let's go ahead and reset these styles to the default. I'll go to the pop-up and I'll click Reset Styles. Hit OK. And now we're back to the set that you should see when you start Photoshop for the first time. Now, about our own styles. What we can do is go to the Layers panel, and as you can see, these are the styles that have been applied to this shape. I can double click on drop shadow for example and I can modify some of these styles. So I can click on the drop shadow and I can put my mouse in the document, move it over here for example, drop the opacity, go to the inner shadow, change the distance, go to the inner glow and change the color. And then when I'm done, I can click right here in the layer style dialog box, new style. I can give it a name and click OK. So I'll go ahead and say OK here, and when we go back to Styles, we should be able to find our own custom style right here at the bottom of the list. If you don't want the style anymore, simply click on it and drag it to the garbage. And that is how you use Styles.